Greetings and aloha. Welcome to our 25 minute power yoga practice. Let's get right to it. We're going to start in our child's pose, taking a nice seat onto your heels. Allow your forehead to rest heavy on your mat. Arms nice and long right out in front of you. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Feel your lungs all the way up, all the way up. And then go ahead and press all the stale air out through your nose. That's the breath that's going to sustain us through your practice. Gently sway your forehead side to side. Breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhale, come up to all fours, hands and knees. Curl your toes under, leading with your hips. Downward facing dog. First down dog may feel a little bit tight, so pedal out your heels. Sway your hips side to side. You want to focus on bringing it to the back side of the body. I want you to feel your thighs nice and strong. Inhale, lifting your heels up. Exhale, go ahead and bring your heels back down. You can do that as many times as you'd like. When you're ready, bring your feet together to touch. Extend your right leg nice and long, right to the back of the room. Keep your lifted leg fired up and engaged. Take a look at your left thigh, squeeze it strong, and then go ahead and bend the upper knee, peel your right hip, stack it over your left. Take a look underneath your right armpit. Feel good doing this. Lift your right knee up a little bit higher and then go ahead and release. Left leg lifts, long and strong on your inhale. Lower belly pulling up and in. Take a deep breath in. Bend the upper knee, peel your hip up and open. So opening on your left side body. Might feel like a nice yawn through the left side. Breathe into the side of your waist. Take a deep breath in, fill up. And then exhale, step your left foot forward, followed by your right foot, all the way to the front of your mat. So we're in a nice forward fold, ragdoll, opposite hand to opposite elbow. Let's over-exaggerate these movements. So you want to sway your torso side to side. Shake out your head, yes and no. And it's a balance, this practice. It's a balance of effort and ease. Good, and then go ahead and release your fingertips to the mat. Toe heel your feet together to touch. As you inhale to your halfway lift, lengthen your spine, pull your belly in, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, length. Exhale, fold and empty. One more time, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward, press down into your feet. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Big inhale. Exhale, palms through heart center, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, palms to your mat, step back high, push up. We're gonna pause here for a few breaths. So this is where I really want you to start to bring a little bit more of a fiery breath. You're gonna inhale, it's like an internal furnace and exhale, the deepest breaths of your day. Breathe in, squeeze your inner thighs. Breathe out, soften your elbows. Breathing in, squeeze everything to the midline of your body. Breathe out, soften your jaw. Again, that balance of effort and ease. Now take a deep breath in, look forward. Rock your shoulders over your wrists, slowly lower, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press your palms into the mat, exhale. Downward facing dog. Set your eyes right between your feet. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you breathe in, lift your toes, bend the knees. Exhale, walk or hop forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold empty. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale, length. Palms to the mat, step back. High to low push-up, slow for strength. Upward facing dog, shine your heart up. Downward facing dog, press back. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Good, on your next inhale, rise to toes, bend the knees, exhale, come forward. Halfway lift, fold empty, reach and rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, a flat spine. Palms to the mat, step back, high to low push-up, or right to low push-up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. We're gonna go right into it, rise, 
bend, walk, or hop forward. It's a moving meditation. Halfway lift, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise. Reach up for something that inspires you. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. High to low push up as you exhale. Slow and steady. Inhale, up, open. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And again, bend the knees, look forward. Lightly walk or hop. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Reach up. Breathe in. Fold forward. Breathe out. Halfway lift. High to low push up. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Really nice. Really nice. One more round. Rise, bend, come on forward. Halfway lift, belly in. Fold, empty. Good. Reach up. Big inhale. Nice and long. Your entire exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. High to low push up as you exhale. You've got this. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. So walk your feet about an inch or two forward. You're going to take your right palm to the outside of your left leg, anywhere but the knee. Just a nice, simple twist, gentle twist. Start to ply a little bit more into the right palm. Take a deep breath in, and we're going to switch. Right palm down, left palm to the outside of your right leg really adding that resistance there so you can start to draw your chest wall towards the side of the room take a deep breath in left palm down good rock forward to your high push-up you know it's coming plank on your forearms so we're gonna lower down we're gonna keep a nice long think of a plank right so you're nice and long lower your hips a little bit pull the pit of your lower belly in draw your navel up towards your spine now when it feels unsteady, bring steadiness to your breath. Take a deep breath in, lower your hips to the mat, take a baby cobra. Breath in, open your mouth and all the air out. Come back up. Low plank number two, pressing into the balls of the feet. Remember, it's a balance of effort and ease. Inner body is calm, outer body is working. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, gently lower your hips to the mat, baby cobra. Inhale, breathe into your belly, open your mouth, let it go. Good. Third time's a charm, right? Come back up, plank on your forearms. Good, now if you notice tension in your jaw, release it. Good, everything is squeezing in, but bring that ease to it. Breath in. As you breathe out this time, press up to your high push-up. You've got this downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to your toes. Bend the knees, walk or hop forward. Halfway lift, fold and empty. Sink your hips low and reach your arms up to the sky. Setting up for chair pose, Utkatasana. All the weight is drawn into your heel. So I want you to feel your 10 toes nice and light. See if you can sink your hips two inches lower and lift your heart up. Lift your fingertips up, spread them wide. Every cell of the body is working here. Lower belly pulling up and in. Take a deep breath in all the way to the crown of your head. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. One more deep breath in, and then go ahead and fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. High to low push up as you exhale. Good. Up dog, downward facing dog. Lightly step your right foot forward, spin your back foot flat. Come all the way up to warrior one. Reaching your arms up on your inhale, and then go ahead and interlace your fingers at the base of your spine. Feel your knuckles pressing down as your heart is lifting up. Take a deep breath in, breathe right into your heart center, and then fold forward to your right inner thigh. I want you to feel your head nice and heavy. The back of your neck is soft. Take a look at your left thigh. You have a nice view of it, right? Squeeze your left thigh strong. Soften your front toes and take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Press into your feet, 
reach your arms all the way up to the sky bring your palms together to touch go up go back palms to the mat step back high push-up stay with me low push-up high push-up low push-up high push-up low push-up high push-up downward facing dog step your left foot forward without a sound left foot forward back foot flat come all the way up warrior one good reaching your arms down along the sides of your waist interlace your fingers at the base of your spine inhale heart opening exhale fold forward so you're to your left inner thigh you can kind of bring your left shoulder on the inside of the thigh humbly bound work it's almost that feeling that sensation you could just let things roll off the back Being less reactive more patient add the breath squeeze your back thigh take a deep breath in as you exhale reach your arms all the way up to the sky palms together to touch inhale open awaken exhale to the mat step back high push up low push up upward facing dog downward facing dog we're going to put it all together in flow one breath per movement inhale rise to toes bend the knees exhale walk or hop forward halfway lift breathe in exhale fold forward sink your hips low reach up ukatasana one breath exhale bow forward halfway lift inhale palms to the mat step back high to low push up as you exhale inhale reach through all ten toes exhale down dog right foot steps forward warrior one reach up breathe in as you exhale set your palms down step back high to low push up inhale up dog exhale downward facing dog lightly step left foot forward reach up on your inhale exhale to the mat step back low push up upward facing shine your heart up downward facing dog reset set your eyes right between your feet and just feel the blocks in the body removing take a deep breath in we're going to do it again bend the knees walk or hop forward halfway lift fold forward chair pose sink low reach up breathe in exhale fold forward halfway lift length squeeze your thighs high to low push up upward facing downward facing dog right foot steps forward reach up warrior one on the right exhale to the mat control precision up dog down dog left foot steps forward breathe in reach up exhale to the mat step back low push up upward facing dog press into your palms downward facing dog last time rise high bend knees walk or hop forward halfway lift fold and empty ukatasana breathe in reach and rise exhale fold forward halfway lift inhale high to low push up as you exhale upward facing downward facing dog step your right foot forward warrior one reach up breathe in exhale to the mat step back low push up inhale open exhale down dog left foot steps forward reach up breathe in palms to the mat step back low push up you've got this upward facing dog downward facing dog on your inhale you're going to rise and bend exhale walk or hop forward right to the front of your mat halfway lift fold and empty now sink your hips low reach your arms up palms to your heart center take an inhale for length lengthen your spine and then exhale you're going to hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh so we're coming into ukatasana twist sink your hips two inches lower so lower than you think and feel your heart lifting you want your heart higher than your hips upper palm pressing into your bottom palm twisting poses are meant to cleanse to rinse to detoxify let's take this one step further left fingertips down reach your right fingertips up a few more breaths good take one more one more deep breath in 
and then exhale, fold forward. Toe heel your feet apart, hip width distance. Take your peace fingers to your big toes. Inhale, flat spine, exhale, fold forward. Forward folds are meant to let go. It's like how much can we let go? What can we let go of? What's no longer serving you? Go ahead and toe heel your feet together to touch. We're gonna do it on the left side. Sink your hips, reach up. Palms to your heart, inhale. Exhale, hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Take a look at your knees. If you notice your left knee is too far forward, bring it back, bring it back so your hips are squared. You want all the twisting to happen right through the middle or the upper part of your spine. Go ahead and split your palms, right fingertips down, left fingertips reach up to the sky. Twisting, rinsing, cleansing. Take a deep breath in, fold forward. Toe heel your feet apart. Palms underneath your feet, Pada Hastasana. If this doesn't work for you, you can do what we just did. Peace fingers to your big toes, sway the torso side to side. Release, let go. Palms come out from underneath. Toe heel your feet together to touch one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna roll up to stand. Take a deep shoulder roll, one more. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, right leg over, right arm crosses under. So we're coming into eagle pose. This is a balancing pose. So if you notice the balance is wobbly, you can set your toes to the outside of that left foot. We're not gonna stay there too long. Elbows to knees. Once they reach, extend your right leg back. If you need to keep a nice soft bend in your left knee, know that option is there for you, but keep your lifted leg fired up. Take one more deep breath in and then release your arms by your side, airplane, airplane arms. Reach your pinkies towards one another, open your heart. Lightly step your back toes to your, the back of your mat, coming into crescent lunge. And release all your fingers together, but the pointer go up, go back, squeeze the back thigh. Palms to your heart, inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna take a twist, crescent lunge twist, right elbow hooks to the outside of your left thigh. Twisting is happening right through the middle, the upper part of your spine. So you don't wanna twist in your hips. Go ahead and bring your right palm down, reach up through your left fingertips and radiate through your top fingertips. Take one more full deep breath in. Exhale, spin your back foot flat. Left palm can stay to the inside or outside of your front foot or left forearm to your left thigh. Right arm reaching up and over. Open your heart. And then we're gonna take your right arm, right fingertips reaching towards the back of the room and then wrap it behind your lower back, coming into a bind, half bind. If you know the full bind, you can take it. Go ahead and look down. Nice and gently, you're gonna step off your back leg, coming up into half bound, balancing half moon. So the worst thing that's gonna happen here is you're gonna fall out of the pose, right? And then you just get right back up into it. See if you can play with your balance, a little bit lighter in your bottom palm, maybe look up to the sky. Go ahead and release your right arm. Right up, lift it up, spine is long, fingertips reaching, breath in, fold forward. Halfway lift, fold and empty. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky as you exhale, left leg over, left arm under. Coming into eagle, elbows to knees, three, like you're doing a crunch, two, and one. Unhook your left leg, extend it to the back of the room. See if you can keep your hips squared. So if you notice your left hip is a little bit higher, lower it a little bit. Pull your belly up and in, airplane. Arms reaching by your sides. Again, if you fall out, you get right back up into it. NBD, no big deal. Airplane, heart lifting, reaching, back leg firing up, breathe in. As you breathe out, back toes to the back of your mat, coming into your crescent lunge. This feels good. Go up and back, up and back. Breath in, exhale, palms to your heart. You're gonna take an inhale for length, 
and then, you know where we're headed, left elbow hooks to the outside of your right thigh. So maybe it's toxic thoughts for you. Maybe it's toxic substances that you put in your body. Call it to mind what that is for you here, and I want you to feel your twisting and rinsing it out. Left palm is low, right fingertips reach. Inhale, we'll lengthen you. Exhale, we'll twist and rinse. Take a deep breath in, and then you're gonna lower your right palm, inside or outside of your front foot, or right forearm to your right thigh. Right thigh. So there's a few variations there. Upper arm reaching along the side of your top ear. It's a hard opening pose. After twisting, now we're opening. And then you're gonna take your half five, reach your left arm back, and then right behind your back. You can take your left fingertips right into that right pocket there. Yeah, opening, go ahead and look down. Step off your back leg, come up, half down, balancing half moon. Doesn't have to be graceful, doesn't have to be beautiful. We're just gonna make our way there. Look up, gently coming out of that bind, reaching your left fingertips. Keep the toes on your lifted foot flex. Take one more full deep breath in, and then fold forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold and empty. Reach up on your inhale, big inhale. Exhale, palms to your heart, namaste. Making our way into tree pose, one of my favorites. Sole of your right foot, anywhere on the left leg but the knee. Taking an arm variation that's going to work for you today. So you can keep your palms at your heart. You can extend your arms up towards the sky. You can extend them down by your sides. You can take reverse namaste if you know it. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up and release. Let's go right to the other side. Sole of your left foot anywhere on the right leg. Taking the arm variation, it doesn't have to be what you took on the other side. Feel rooted and grounded. Growing roots, we lift, we breathe, we grow towards the light. Take a deep breath in. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release. Good. Reach up to the sky. Fill up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. High push up. Low push up. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. On your inhale, rise to toes. Bend the knees. Hop or walk forward. Take a seat. Lie down on your back. Coming right into back bending. Heels behind your hips. So we're gonna make our way into bridge, supported bridge, or wheel. I suggest starting with bridge pose or supported bridge. The block will be right underneath your hips. You're gonna press down into your feet, lift your hips up, belly lifts, chest lifts, shimmying your shoulders underneath your torso. Take a deep breath in, one vertebrae at a time, lower nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, and then come back up, bridge, Supported bridge again is with your block or wheel is the full back bend. Press down and lift up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower gently, slowly. Breath in, breath out. One more. Bridge, supported bridge or wheel. Come on up. Five. Bring it to your backside. Squeeze your glutes. Four, three, two, and one. Lower, slowly, gently. Soles of the feet together. Allow your knees to fall open. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. This is goddess pose. So we are gonna end our power yoga practice here. Relax your spine. Relax your mind. You can take full on Shavasana, releasing the legs, long arms out to your side eventually. Come into Shavasana. Allow your body to receive. Allow moments of clarity to seep in. Namaste. Namaste.